Liam McTiernan back in Carrick Town colours scored an absolute yeah. screamer today. Yeah. Um, disappointed with the result though? Ah yeah, especially when we were one 0 up at half time to, to throw it away. We conceded one early in the second half, which you know gave them a bit of momentum to go on. But I don't know it was a decent performance. We conceded one at the very end there, so it was probably a bit closer than it looked. Three one. Uh, we'd be reasonably happy with the performance, but in, not the result. In terms of your goal, talk us through what happened. Um, I would decent bit of play down the left between um, I think it was Ryan and Shane um, Byrne came out from centre forward. I was playing kind of the number six role, so I just came on to it late, and Shane played a lovely through ball to me, hit the first time, and they normally go over the bar wide, but that one went in. So. Your first season back with Carrick Town after a few years uh, in Balnafad with Ohana. Um, enjoying life back in the hometown? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of new faces since I was here last, a lot of young lads and stuff, so new manager and things. So, no, I've, a strong team here, I think we'll go close enough to going up this year with a bit of luck. What's your take on the season so far? Because it's been three different results, a win, a defeat, and a draw. Yeah, um, I know well, three good performances. Um, were probably the game we won was probably when the game we played the worst in. So it's just the bit of luck that you need. You know, just didn't go our way today. But Colliery and St John's, we played in their last two games. They'll both be expecting to be there or thereabouts for promotion. So no, we're pretty happy with how we're going so far. I suppose in this team you're one of the few with a, a bit of experience of a couple of years and maybe even a decade or so yeah, in the yeah. league. Um, what do you think is the potential of this squad? Can they really mount that promotion challenge? Oh, I think so, yeah. Like, there's only 10 teams in the league. There's probably five that would be looking to, to go up. So if you can keep the squad together over the winter, like it's be hard sometimes to get lads out on the Sundays in December and January. If you can just keep a strong squad and keep them out every week, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll be there or thereabouts. I suppose there's a, a huge correlation between the Gaelic football world and the soccer world yeah. in County Leitrim and we saw last night in Drummer Hare where it's the Gaelic lads come back to go from getting hammered to being really, yeah, really yeah. competitive. You've kind of been probably the opposite over the years. You've been soccer first and everything else is kind of secondary. Yeah, yeah. What do you take from that in terms of how the clubs operate around here? Like, Would you prefer to see more people yeah, focus uh, we've, primarily on we've, soccer? Uh, no, I think if, if lads have the time to do both, then yeah if there's lads that are playing Gaelic they want to come out and play they'd be more than welcome like we've quite a few lads here from different GA clubs we've three lads from Mary's a few from uh, from Shambo a couple from Fina so you know, the more more the merrier the well, Gaelic lads are always fitter so it's nice to nice to get them back in take a bit of the pressure off Listen congratulations uh, on a, coming back to Carrick Town it's great to yeah. see you back in in the white and blue uh, hard luck today Cheers, and the best man. luck for the rest of the season Thanks